to Rosie Lee's kitchen. Today we are making scones. Today we're going to weigh out and sift 450 grams of self-raising flour. Now, I was walking around my kitchen just looking for a bowie. Yep, there we go, plopping it on. Getting me a little rescale. My nice little pink sieve, ready for me flour. Popping open my flour, getting your little scoop ready, trying not to make a mess, and scooping it in lovely. Don't forget, keep an eye on the dial, you don't want to go mad, you don't want to go under, you want it perfect. I've got 50 grams of caster sugar next, sprinkling it in like nice and fluffy. Bish bash bosh mate. Two tables, uh, not tablespoons, two teaspoons of baking powder. It's going to give it that little bit of extra rise. Then we get 100 grams of cold butter. Now, I'm slicing it up because at the end of the day, I've got to squeeze it all in with my fingers anyway. And my little digits, they're quite short. But, I'm getting me 100 grams of nice cold butter. We don't know that margarine crap, we want butter. You rub the cold butter between your fingers until the flour looks like breadcrumbs. I'm sure you've all heard that one before. Once your mixture looks like breadcrumbs, you want to put it to the side, open two eggs and then add the rest with milk until you're up to 300 millilitres of liquid. No more, no less, 300 millilitres. Make sure you don't break no shell in there, no one wants a mouthful of eggshell do they? Nice and crunchy, not nutritious and delicious. You know what I mean? Just gonna fill up a nice bit of cold milk. For this recipe, I use semi skilled. Don't go full fat, you know, gotta watch the old waistline. Bad enough that I'm eating scones with jam and bloody clotted cream. Hang on the dial. Now, gotta look for a little fork, give it a little twizzle. muted this segment, put a nice bit of music on, you don't want to hear that. Besides the dog was in the background, whinging. He's always whinging. Now that you've got your mix ready, you want to save a little bit by putting a little aside because you want to glaze your scones at the end. And then add the rest to your mixture and then get you stuck in with your hands and give it a good old mix. It's going to be quite wet at first, but as soon as you mix it all in, be salted, a little bit of extra flour after. Now, waste not, want not, I make sure I roll all of the little bits of uh, pastry off my hands. Don't want to waste none of that, it's all goodness. I say need, it's not bread, but you know what I mean, you want your mixture to come together. We flour the rolling pin and we roll out to a one and a half inch thick. Don't be dirty about that, alright? There ain't nothing sexual about powdering this. Your dough should feel nice and cold and quite soft. Flour your cutter, then cut out and add to your baking sheet. Brush lightly with your milky egg mixture. These suckers are going to be large. Make sure you 
preheated your oven to 220 celsius to 200 celsius gas mark 7 if you're using the gas cook them for 15 minutes a little bit longer if you want them a bit crispier then we transfer them to a cooling rack straight from the oven you don't want a soggy bottom but be careful they're hot as you can see I move them over with a little bit of finger flare what I'm all about and there we have it you've got your finished product I've got 10 scones out of this recipe I hope you liked it thanks for watching give us a sub it's free you know